welcome to a weekly vlog. I fancied vlogging my week this week, so today is Monday. We have a really exciting, fun week. Sophia is currently at nursery. She went off this morning. Monday is her nursery day, so it's just me and Amelia today. It's normally my housework day, so I'm gonna be trying to do some housework, but I do have some errands to run. Amelia is currently napping. She's my almost nine month old, if you are new to my channel. So that's the plan for today. I'm just about to put a wash load in, tidy up the kitchen after breakfast, and then I'm gonna probably start on like dusting and hoovering the downstairs whilst Amelia is napping. I've just fed Amelia and we're gonna get her a food shop soon, but she's just been so cute and cuddly, like leaning back and giving cuddles. And <laughs> Look at her, she's so beautiful. Can you believe she's nearly nine months? Oh, darling. <laughs> okay, so the usual nap is Amelia's in a four plus, Sophia's in a six, and we always get a big box of wipes. These were an extra purchase. I'm prepping a lot of the food and snacks that we eat, so these will be perfect. Some cleaning products that we've run out of. Meat, I've got this for a meal later, so these are all for planned meals, and then chicken. Um, I've got these, so little cherry tomatoes. These were in the super six, so that's why I've got two of those. Strawberries, we've got some juice. I'm gonna try this face wash if I run out of my normal one. Onions, butternut squash, kale. I'm gonna do a stir fry, so I've got like bean sprouts. I'm not gonna do mine with egg noodles. I'm gonna do mine with rice, but Sophia will like them. All right, darling. Hang on, let me go get her. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed with a baby now. Then we've got celery, spring onions. I like these are a staple for me, spring onions. Um, a stir fry mix, and Amelia's grabbing the camera. Smooth tomato So I just like to have a pasta sauce in. I also got some pasta because we ran out. It's just handy. I, I just often will do, if I don't know what to do, like I just do pasta, a pasta sauce, and throw in some frozen veg, maybe like a, um, a protein, a, ch a chicken, or what am I trying to say? Tuna fish, something like that. Some milk for Sophia. These milk lollies for Sophia, bread, food for Rosie. I thought I would try these. These are in like the middle aisle bit. Um, see if Sophia likes those. She really enjoyed these last week, so I've got those as a little snack for her. Um, we, we have like lots of the baby snacks in. There's, there's not a lot we needed actually for cupboard stuff. It was mainly fresh stuff. So yogurt, Sophia likes those. I am currently on Weight Watchers, so I'm eating like the fat-free Greek yogurt, which I've still got some left. Yeah. So anyway, Amelia's getting fussy. There we go, that is my weekly shop. Oh, and cans, these are mainly for Joe, but I do like a Diet Coke. Usually in an afternoon as a little pick-me-up. This little one's getting fussy, so we're gonna have some lunch, put the food away, get her down for a nap, do all of that, so I'll pick you up later. We're just having a little play, and this is our current setup. Come on then, bring it to me. She's been bringing me the toy. Bring it here. And then uh, Rosie, the most annoying toy in the world. And then I can just throw it and we're still playing. <laughs> this toy here I received as a, hang on Rosie, as a gifted product from Jake's of London. See it there? Um, I did a video giveaway on it. I think I did one on TikTok and one on YouTube, I wanna say. If I did, I'll link it below because there was four oh. toys and anyway, I think, I can't really remember. It was a gifted product and this is what I chose and I chose it with Sophia in mind, but Amelia loves it. It comes with a hammer. The idea obviously is that you, but she's been like pulling them out. I love these wooden toys. They're so versatile. They don't just do one thing. So she has been using it to pull out, which is obviously great for her fine motor skills. She likes this hammer. It's, Good to chew on apparently. Oh, are we tired? Are we tired, darling? Are we tired? Yeah. But yeah, she loves pulling them out. So um, anything like this, I will leave this specific one linked below. Yeah, I would recommend. <laughs> I'm looking disheveled. I'm feeling very tired today. I don't know why I feel very lethargic. Time of the month maybe, I don't know. But it's um, about five o'clock now and Joe is just on his way home from work and he's picked Sophia up from nursery on the way. You can hear Amelia playing in the other room. I am going to start cooking soon once Joe's home. We're doing chicken, chicken stir fries. Joe actually took the girls for a quick walk before tea just to kind of let off some steam and um, leave me to cook. He's so good. And tea is ready. Go, I've got my brown rice underneath. 
Um, I might actually drizzle on this quite a bit of sauce. Ugh, so I might drizzle some of that on. And Joe's has got noodles and Sophia's got the same and Amelia has a pouch. Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm up a lot earlier than everybody else I always am. I like to get up an hour before I know the girls and Joe will get up just to have a bit of time to myself. I don't normally get ready in this time but today I wanted to wash my hair and I wouldn't have time later. So I still need to do my face but if you can hear um, like a trickling, that is my coffee being made. I'm currently using the m and Christmas blend. There's a shop near us that does like, um, like discounted stuff if it's like got a shorter shelf life or like Christmas, it's no longer Christmas. So what we bought loads of those, it's really cheap. So we're using those up and it's just delicious. A lovely start to the day. This is what our mornings usually look like. Oh, hang on. Hold that thought, Joe's ringing me. Riveting conversation about the bins then from Joe. <laughs> anyway, this is what our mornings look like. We're in the playroom today. Sometimes we're in the lounge, sometimes we're in here. We've got the sensory stuff out today and Sophia's watching Mickey Mouse. And I'm about to make us some breakfast. So they've had their milks, nappies changed, all of that. Yeah. I just love, them. my heart is just so full. I love them so much. Breakfast are usually quite casual for Sophia. To be honest, it's usually like toast with some fruit. That's sort of her go-to at the moment. I tend to do eggs. I'll show you my go-to breakfast. And then Amelia will probably have porridge. She usually has like a baby porridge. That is Sophia's for today. And sometimes she sits at the table, but sometimes I just let her have it while she plays. She's not a massive breakfast person and she just kind of likes to nibble on it. So just for the ease of my life today, I'll give her this in the playroom and she can just munch on it as she likes. Okay, I just accidentally broke the yolk, but there we go. Poached egg, spinach, spring onions and toast. So this is Amelia's. It's the Heinz like baby porridge with a banana flavour. You just, it's like a powder and you just add warm water to it and I'll give her some Cut up strawberries as well. I, I always like to offer her finger food, even if she doesn't take it, just to expose her to it. She's not keen on finger food, but have to keep trying. And there's certain things she will eat with finger food, um, but a lot of them she sort of throws them on the floor. But that's all exposure, so it all counts as part of the weaning journey. Oh, that was a manic, slightly stressful couple of hours. Playgroup did not go as well today as normal. Sophia's got some really big emotions and was really struggling, but the ladies there were lovely and really helped me out. The girls are both napping or I've just put Sophia down so hopefully I can get at least an hour and I'm gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna tidy all this mess up. I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna sit, have a cup of tea. I've been watching One Tree Hill again so I'm just gonna watch an episode of that and at the end of the episode see how I feel because I just need a moment to gather myself and just recover. Some, some nap times I'm productive. Some, well this is productive because I'm recharging my batteries and then hopefully we'll be energised enough to go to the library later. It is a while later now, Sophia has woken up from her nap, so we are gonna go to the library. I definitely feel like I'm just in survival mode today, whatever is gonna get me through the day, and I feel like getting out of the house is gonna be the thing for me. It will either make me or break me, but it's not long till Joe gets home, and we do need to take the library books back, and it's just a lovely little place, so this will hopefully just be a nice, calm, peaceful hour. I'll bring you along. Get out our library. We've got to look in the mall. I think it might be in this one, Sophia. Toys out. That's not the Tinky Winky book. Um, oh, there it is. You found it. We wanted to get this for that. We've spoken about this all day. Should we look up some of that one? Could be a good one for Amelia to get. Oh, what is there? I don't think there is painting today. I think it's colouring instead. Wow. Ooh. Pink. Pink. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am not ready yet because I'm gonna do a workout once Amelia is napping. I didn't fancy doing one first thing today, but I am trying to do them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll probably just do maybe just some yoga today, something knee friendly. It is a rainy day today. We have a friend coming around this morning to play and then I have a virtual occupational therapist appointment today in the afternoon. And then after that, 
I'm gonna go to town and do a bit of shopping, I think. I have to document this. She's standing, I did put her in that position, but she stayed there. She never stays. Oh my goodness, Rosie, yes, you're a beautiful baby too. Oh my goodness, big girl. You are such a big girl. I'm not going to town anymore because, yeah, it's actually yeah. gone for now. She woke up from a nap about, I think it was about quarter, 20 to 4. So by the time I fed her, she had like a super long nap. Yeah, by the time I fed, would have fed her and then got in the car, the shops would be nearly closing. So I am going to go tomorrow instead. We'll go after our baby group. I can't believe this. I can't believe. What a big girl. You are doing amazing, aren't you, baby girl? <laughs> I think that was an agreement. She has gone from about here, just where those toys are. Shuffle all the way back. <laughs> you need to come to mama. You're gonna come to mama. Mama. You're gonna come to mama. No, oh, the, the burp. Oh, 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 that's it. One more. That's what we want. Get that bottom up. You're going to shuffle. Just going backwards. You're moving, baby. You're moving. You're getting there. I want her to do it, but at the same time, I just want to see little baby forever. Good morning and happy Thursday. I can't believe we're on Thursday. This week is flying by. Amelia is down for her first nap. She should be waking up soon, and then we're going to a babe group. It's my church churches group they do like a parent and toddler group i've heard rave reviews i've never been we used to go to a different class on a thursday which we've stopped now so i was like oh i can go to the church group but the timing of it is a little bit awkward for us it's half nine to eleven and it's a dropping one so i can turn up at any time every time i've planned to go amelia's had like amazing naps anyway she went down really early this morning so i feel like at quarter to ten in about 25 minutes I can wake her up and we can go for the last hour so I've just got a few little email thingies to do and then I'm gonna have a coffee while I do that and then we're gonna head to this baby class home it is lunchtime now just popped Amelia down for her nap because she fell asleep in the car so we went to the baby group and it was really lovely really loved going and then I popped into town I went into Primark I really want to start building up my Disney like clothes collection again that might seem super sad to a lot of you but I love Disney and I love Disney World and I'm desperate to go back to Disney World but we won't be going until three years three years we'll be going for my parents 70th birthday so in the meantime I thought I'm gonna buy like something Disney each month for me and the girls it just brings a little bit of Disney magic into our home so I'll show you what I got I got Sophia this Minnie Mouse umbrella because she doesn't have an umbrella but when we go to my brother's house she loves my nephew's umbrella so I thought this was cute this was four pounds so um, like Ah, I've broken it already. Opens up into a little dome, mini on it. I just thought she'd really enjoy that. Then for Amelia, because she's about to go into her next size clothes, so we're using Sophia's 9 to 12 months clothes, but she was a winter baby at that point, so I need some summer bits. Got this mini top and short set. It looked comfortable and I thought it'd be great just for when we're playing outside or, you know, baby groups, that kind of thing. And that was £5, 9 to 12 months. For me, there were a few t-shirts that were really nice and a jumper. I picked up initially two... Oh, that's my dinner heated. I picked up two t-shirts and a really lovely jumper, but I am being strict one thing a month. I'm not going mad. So I just bought this really simple black one which isn't my normal style i don't necessarily wear disney clothes like out the house but i do like them on in the house or if i'm just having like an errands day and this is quite a long t-shirt i don't know if you can see but it comes below my bottom and a lot of t-shirts like come at the hips but i like wearing these kind of shirts with cycle shorts if i'm in the house on a day um or leggings like cycle shorts or leggings so it's just got a little mickey mouse there and then big mickey on the back so it's kind of subtle on the front but nice on the back high hopes for this one and this was 10 pounds at half past two in a couple of hours i have 
Amanda from my perinatal team. She's like my perinatal coordinator for my mental health support. So she comes every Thursday and we usually go for a walk. So I won't film that obviously because we just have a nice chat. Okay, so there's a lot of mess <laughs> that I have not tidied up from this morning and bottles and things that I still need to wash. So I'm gonna do a little tidy up montage for you now. I was making my way across town trying to get to you. Sound facing you out, that's true. Now I get butterflies just thinking about your eyes, and that can't be all bad. Things came up, things went down, maybe turn back around. My spider sand screaming. The kitchen is looking good now, just got a laundry to do. And I'm gonna go put those new bits upstairs that I bought. I keep hearing a phantom cries. I, every like two minutes, I'm convinced Amelia has woken up. I've been watching some YouTube vlogs as well, and I think it's just like background noise on there, but I think because I'm listening for her, even though I've got the monitor on, like have it with me, it's it's on loud. I'm just sort of convinced that it's like not working and she's crying. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna take you upstairs now. I've got all of this laundry to put away and I've sort of neglected it the past few days. So then all the other baskets are filled up, but I don't like doing new laundry until like at least the couple of loads that I've previously done are put away. Otherwise you just end up with like a mass of clothes. So I'm gonna go just put that away and wait for Amelia to wake up. Just as I brought this upstairs, she is stirring. She's just waking up now. So what I think I'll do is, because Amanda's coming soon, I'm gonna give her some late a late lunch before her milk because she fell asleep in the car on the way home, so she didn't have any lunch, and I really want to get in the habit of giving her lunch, so it's just gone too, it's not that bad. She won't know the difference, so going back downstairs to give her some lunch. Well, in a turn of events, because we both forgot, we're going on a date night to the cinema. Are we watching um, Fantastic Beasts? Yeah. So we're watching the third and final instalment of Fantastic Beasts. I think it's called, is it Dumbledore's? Secret to be honest, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but Fantastic Beast doesn't quite do it for me. Um, but we watched the second one recently, didn't we? So we're all fresh on it. So well, yeah, um, we forgot that we'd arranged for Joe's mum to come and babysit the girls and like put them to bed. So we were just manically telling her like how the bedtime routine works and all of that, making sure that the girls had food and whatnot because it's like over tea time and bedtime. So we won't see them now until we get back and they'll be in bed. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to watch Fantastic Beasts on date night. Happy Friday. I have been up and done a workout already. I really didn't want to, but I have not been very good with my Weight Watchers, so I needed to do something. And Sophia is making her own breakfast today, aren't you? Yeah. She's done jam and toast. Do you want me to cut it up for you? Okay. Hang on then. That dream. Watch out, sharp knife. So Sophia buttered. And put jam on her own toast. Yeah. Like a big girl, didn't you? Yeah. Right, are you ready to go eat your breakfast? No. No? And I want to eat my Oh, okay. You can eat it standing there if you want. You want me to clip you back in? I want to do this. Oh, okay. Very independent. My energy levels are very low today. I don't know why I slept well I think Amelia didn't wake up or anything but I don't know if it's just the week I've just felt really low level energy levels this week we're dealing with that I'm just making myself a second coffee this morning we're going to this fun little place called Jungle Zoo in kind of like the next town along it's kind of like all the same area but it's about 30 minutes away 25 minutes away and it's I don't even know how to describe it I think it was like a reptile place and it's expanded um, with a few more animals. I think it's a little bit like a sanctuary. Anyway, we're going there, so I'll bring you along. I'll probably film that on my phone because I want to charge the battery up on this camera because this afternoon I'm going to be filming a Stitch Fix haul or unboxing, which has already gone live on my channel, so I will link that. But yeah, I want to make sure I've got battery for that. So uh, yeah, I just need to like, I just want to close my eyes. My eyes just feel heavy today. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Say so fear the bird saying hello. <laughs> Goodness. This monkey's going for it. Wow. I need some of their energy. Now we could stay awake all night and have dinner in bed. Slowly watch as the sun rises or fall asleep instead. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is how have a nice time. There's a lion. What do lions say? It's quite a lot later now. It's a really nice day. Sophia's just woken up from a super long nap or she fell asleep in the car on the way home from the jungle zoo. Amelia is down for her third nap. She napped, woke up, we played for a bit and then she must have still been really tired so she um, went and has gone back to sleep. It's about half past four. Joe is cutting the grass and it's, it's the best part of the day now. It's glorious. She is. Hard at work. <laughs> I haven't been out here for a while, mainly because of my knee, but I want to show you all of my bulbs that I planted are coming up. You'll have to ignore the weeds because I've not de-weeded in a while, but let me show you. I think I filmed these in a maybe a get it done video, planting all of these and they're coming up. Yeah, so I just love it. I've got so much to plant still. Um, Sunflowers, I need to plant them. They're looking sad, I need to plant them. I am not in gardening clothes at all, but I'm going to do a little bit of work on just a little section of the garden and then I'll just do, try and do maybe a little section each day. I'm just going to do this section tonight and see how I feel. I'm going to just cut the edges and get the weeds out, tidy that bit up. When it's only you and me. Can bother us to step on our feet. Oh no, step on our feet. That looks better. And I also planted some more sunflowers. So I had those ones planted planted these because some of them will look a bit sad um, these ones I think are not going to make it we don't have any room um, just water the rest of the plant and then I'm going to have a tidy up out here in a minute these ones I'm going to give to my two nephews so hopefully they have been saved I think after a bit of water and a bit of sunshine they'll perk right up again Oh, I'm a bit rosy. I've just done my makeup and not blended it properly. Never mind. Good morning and happy Saturday. I can't believe we're at the weekend already. Joe's just gone to take Sophia to his mum's and dad's this morning. They live just around the corner. And on Saturday mornings, Sophia and her two cousins, they all kind of meet to play at my mother-in-law's house, which is lovely, just for a couple of hours. I am going to take Amelia to our friend's house. This is a friend who I've had for a long time, but we had a baby at similar time her little boy is almost a month older than amelia i've got really like i can't find my lipstick today so my lips are feeling a bit so we've set up a little play bit here in the shade and i'm just gonna set like the toys out for the girls i've just woken up from their nap wow look at this i don't know if you if that's coming up on camera but it's so hot there is steam coming from where the water is evaporating so quickly so i've been pottering in the garden Saw my friend, that was lovely. Posture in the garden while they both napped and then we just set this up for Amelia. Um, I'm gonna set the dining, the outside table up with the cushions and everything because tonight or later um, we're gonna have an impromptu barbecue. So I'm just gonna try and sort of potter about and set all of that up um, so that we can enjoy it. Here's a little toddler tip for you. If you wanna like, get jobs done in the garden or anything. Give them some soapy water and ask them to clean something. What are you cleaning? Um, I'm just cleaning my car. Cleaning your car, aren't you? You're doing a very good job, darling. Pardon? <laughs> I have cleaned the table. I'll set this up later for tonight. Amelia's inside now with Joe or oh, Rosie. We're not gonna have much sun for longer. 
I want to get this parasols broken, but I want to get one of those freestanding ones so I can like angle it where I like. But I'm just doing a bit more gardening. It's looking very good. Oh, Joe's about to pick some lettuce from our homemade vegetable patch. Oh, Amelia's not happy. He, he can't hear you, darling. She's talking to you, Joe. Who is? Sophia. Hello, darling. She says she's just cleaning the table. Oh, you're cleaning the table. Well done, darling. So, the sweet peas that I grew are not looking very good. I've planted two there. I just I have so many, I don't know where I'm going to put the rest. I'm hoping now they're in the ground they'll thrive. We'll see. Oh, these all need a good water as well. Give them a super soak this evening. My shoots are coming up. I've just been doing the edges. Look how good they are. Woo! It is a hot, hot, hot. hot. Oh no! Uh oh, barbecue's on fire. <gasps> quick, quick, quick. Uh oh. Need to have a little tidy up of the garden stuff. Need to tidy these toys away because the shade's gone from it now. I need up sunglasses. These are mummy's sunglasses. That's daddy's sunglasses. No, daddy's got mummy's on. <laughs> he doesn't have his own. Ooh, it feels like a true summer's day today. Right, I need to get the table ready. Just tidy up a bit. Should we do it? Your poor little eyes, darling. You're all like, she's got blocked tear ducts from her cold. Poor baby. Well, it is Sunday now, the end of the week. We've had a very chilled one today. Sophia's is just, Sophia has not been very well. Her eyes are very blocked, like her tear ducts are blocked and she's got a cold. Don't know if it's conjunctivitis or a cold, I don't know. But we um, just stayed at home today. We didn't go to church because we didn't want to risk sort of anyone else getting it. So I'm going to end this weekly vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a glimpse into what our week looks like. It's pretty much the same every week. But I'll probably do another weekly vlog in a few weeks just to, you know, make keep the memories. If you have enjoyed this weekly vlog, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you would like to, then please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you for more videos soon. Bye guys. Bye.